author and speaker Brian Page has lots of thoughts about making money. In his new book, he says, don't trade in your 40-hour work week for an 80-hour-a-week side hustle. He says there are so many ways to make money that don't require you to work multiple jobs. The book is called Don't Start a Side Hustle, Work Less, Earn More, and Live Free. And Brian joins us live. Brian, thanks hey, Brian. for being with us. Hey, how's it going? Great to be here. So when, you, when, when I think side hustle, I think... It could be anything, not necessarily a second full-time job. So you're, you're saying not doing anything is not what you're saying, just work a little less on the side. Is this that fair? Yeah, well, what I'm saying is that, you know, nowadays side hustles are all the rage and we're told that we should, you know, work harder, right? We, we need to do something in addition to our main thing to make money. And my argument is no. There's actually a better way than trading all of our time and energy for money, and that is to create cash flow. That's to create passive income, and that's what I help people do in this book. Well, one that I think appeals to a lot of people because they think it's easy is real estate. Now, you know, lots of people do it. Anybody can do it. What is that transition between doing it and doing it really, really well that it's a successful side hustle? Yeah, well, real estate's a great example of becoming an owner. So an owner is where you buy an asset and then it generates cash flow. But nowadays we live in a creator economy, we live in a sharing economy, and that opens up all kinds of doors to make passive income without owning any assets at all. And that's what I, I teach people in this book as well. So you're saying not to buy property? I'm a little confused by that. Yeah, well, you can certainly buy property, but nowadays you don't have to own any kind of assets. In other words, you can create things from scratch, create digital products, courses, online uh, products, and generate passive income from creating those assets. You can also control assets you don't own. And that's one of the things I teach as well, which is, for example, you can take properties and rent them and put them on the home sharing sites like Airbnb and generate cash flow without actually owning the real estate. I didn't know that you could do that. If you're renting someplace, you can rent it out to somebody else for a week at a time? You can. If you have the permission of the owner, you absolutely can. And that's one of the things I wow. teach. So that's an example where you're controlling someone else's asset to generate cash flow. What is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is where you have permission to sell someone else's products and someone else's services in exchange for a commission. So if you have an email list, you have a following on social media, uh, you can actually offer those products and get half the commissions, half the sales on a product that you didn't create. So again, you're controlling uh, the right to sell those products and services. I think a lot of people see these content creators and people making a ton of money on you know, YouTube or TikTok or what they assume is a lot of money. How much money yeah. is there to be made in that and how difficult is that to do it well? Uh, there's millions to be made, M absolute millions. So um, I have many, many friends who have started from zero and made uh, you know, millions, tens of millions of dollars by selling their online digital products and courses. You have no inventory, you have no real costs to deliver those items. You're essentially selling information. And this is the era that we live in now. You know, you have, you have uh, teenagers that are making millions of dollars on YouTube and it's happening across many, many different sectors. So I wanna show people how to leverage technology to start doing the same thing. What are white label products? So white label products is uh, what Amazon does. When you buy a product on Amazon that has the Amazon name on it, they don't actually manufacture those. They have the right to put their name on a product or service that someone else has created. And that's true of most brands. A lot of brands that you buy are not actually made by that brand name. They're manufactured and then a name is stamped on them. And you can do the same thing as a private individual. We see a couple other things on this list. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. Am I just lending Larry money? <laughs> yeah, you certainly could if you wanted to. Peer-to-peer -peer lending, there's all kinds of platforms now where you can take your money, lend it, even on a very small scale, $100, $500, $1,000, to someone that wants to start a business, and then you get money back, uh, you get interest back on that money. You can also fractionally invest in real estate. So if you only have $1,000, you can invest into a first huh. lien or first mortgage on a property and get guaranteed income on that money it's secured by the real estate. And I saw car sharing app on there too. What's what's the investment there? Yeah, so car sharing app, that's where you would own a vehicle and you would put it on a site like Turo and people would pay you by the day to use your car just the same way you would do with Alamo or one of the rental companies. Huh. And you can automate that. So it's totally hands off and you're earning more than it would cost you on the payment of the car. So it can be passive. Huh. Well, all things I never thought of. The book is Don't Start a Side Hustle. Uh, for more, you can follow Brian Page on social media. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.